wee bit of viral marketing. <laughs> Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 marketing stunts that went viral. You're the ones who said we needed the virus video. I said a viral video. Number 10, Coca-Cola's Share a Coke. Who would have thought that simply adding someone's name to a product would make it go viral? Well, that's exactly what Coke did in 2011 with its Share a Coke campaign. The cola giant added people's names to its bottles and cans, and the world went absolutely nuts for it. People everywhere went searching for their own names and their friends' names. They were taking selfies with their bottles outside of stores, on public transports, and indeed, with their friends. Not only did it increase Coke sales, but it added a new level of togetherness and belonging to the Coke brand. And the campaign has evolved in various different ways since, with the likes of must-have pop culture quotes, nicknames, and symbols replacing the names on the bottles. Number 9. Taco Bell's Blackout Taco Bell has an eclectic history of publicity stunts. I mean, remember when it pretended to buy the Liberty Bell? Back in 2014, it was faced with a mammoth challenge, promote a new Taco Bell app in a marketplace that's drenched in social media noise and competition. So what did it do? It came up with a simple idea that would change everything. Well, it risked its millions of Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter followers by temporarily closing down its channels and redirecting all fans to its new app with the hashtag only in the app tagline. It even worked with Twitter to reset its follow account to zero. The blackout stunt was a massive success though, with the brand reportedly recording mobile orders in 75% of its stores just 24 hours after the campaign launched. And that is what the bell happened. Number eight, Tinder's height verification. How tall are you? Six four. Oh. You've got to have your wits about you on social media when April Fool's Day comes around. Tinder capitalized on the prank-filled day by announcing it was going to be introducing height verification for its users. All you needed to do was upload a photo of yourself standing next to a commercial building, and Tinder would analyze your height and officially verify it for you. The reaction on social media was hit and miss. Some loved the idea, and some were outraged. Regardless, it earned Tinder a lot of increased social media and news article presence online. And even though it was only a joke, it's permanently put the idea of Tinder height verification up for debate. What did he look like? About medium height? Foreign. Number seven, National Geographic's T-Rex Transport. A T-Rex up to a secret location, can I be discreet? Mate, discreet is my middle name. This publicity stunt took to the streets of London to promote Nat Geo's upcoming one-off special, T-Rex Autopsy, back in 2015. The brand created the illusion that a T-Rex was being transported on the back of a truck on its way to National Geographic HQ for said autopsy. The replica T-Rex had commuters scared, excited, and snapping away as the dino made its way around the busy streets of the capital, complete with a bloodstained tarp, a gape mouth, and a twitching leg. <laughs> The stunt went instantly viral with radio, TV, and social media outlets everywhere reporting on the Tyrannosaurus spotting. <laughs> Number 6. Apple's Shot on iPhone campaign. So I write him all these letters and I throw them in the trash because I miss the way he kisses and the way he made me laugh. Apple is the king of streamlining, be it design, functionality, or marketing, and its shot on iPhone campaign is a perfect example of how a simple message can carry a lot of weight. In the mid-2010s, Apple started using the shot on iPhone slogan while promoting superb cinema quality ads that were, indeed, shot using the iPhone. The idea was that you could achieve these amazing shots yourself using the device. Okay, so Apple invested a lot of budget and extra equipment to achieve these shots, but nevertheless, the campaign did wonders for promoting the iPhone as the go-to device for capturing everyday moments in immaculate detail. It also helped fuel the idea of entire feature-length movies being shot on iPhones. Number 5. Zoom Virtual Background Challenge I would swim the deepest, sharkiest oceans to be with you. What are you doing? Cut! Many of us practically lived in video calls in our home offices after the pandemic hit in 2020. And Zoom saw this as a golden opportunity to entice new users to its platform. You have many options for what will be seen behind you while your video is on. 
The brand held monthly background challenge competitions, urging remote workers to share their creative digital backgrounds for a chance to win prizes. Not only did this urge existing Zoom members to experiment with the platform's capabilities, but it urged users from other platforms to make the switch to Zoom in fear of missing out on the background craze. Aside from Zoom's own monthly competitions, companies everywhere started their own friendly contests, with each meeting becoming a new opportunity for fun and creativity. Hey, I'm in Hawaii too! Oh, Aloha, bitches! Number 4. Tesla's Space Roadster the exciting thing about Tesla marketing stunts is that they're usually rooted in realistic future endeavors for the brand. So, back in 2018, when Elon Musk said that SpaceX would be sending his personal Tesla Roadster into orbit, everyone listened up. The Roadster was successfully launched, put into orbit, and remains in space to this day, and the entire event was live-streamed, with viewers able to watch the Roadster and its Starman mannequin float on by. The event made the Roadster the first production car launched into space, and Musk claimed that the stunt was a way to promote the idea of humans visiting other planets. Whatever way you look at it, it's cool. And hey, in 2091, there's even a chance we'll see that Roadster again, when it passes Earth a couple of hundred thousand miles away. Ground control to Major Musk. Number 3. Cadbury's Drumming Gorilla Back when this ad was launched in 2007, social media giants like Facebook and Twitter were still very much in their infancy. So, for a marketing campaign to go viral, it had to be really good. The Cadbury's Gorilla ad, which saw a person in a gorilla suit drumming along to Phil Collins' In the Air Tonight, catapulted itself into the pop culture zeitgeist. <laughs> Its mixture of absurdity, a catchy tune, and the question of whether it was a real gorilla playing made the advert instantly iconic, and it's still referenced and talked about to this day. Oh, and yes, it also helped Cadbury's sell more chocolate, with sales reportedly being boosted by 10%. The meaning behind the ad? Cadbury's brings happiness, and gorillas look sick playing the drums. Number 2. Red Bull's Stratus Jump this energy drink brand has faced a lot of flack over the years for its Red Bull Gives You Wings slogan. But with this marketing stunt, at least the brand was close to delivering on that claim. In 2012, Red Bull teamed up with scientists in an attempt to complete the world's highest skydive. Austrian skydiver Felix Baumgartner stood up to the challenge, and the world watched via live stream as he took the leap. <laughs> The entire fall took about 10 minutes. Baumgartner broke the sound barrier in the process and several world records to boot. For Red Bull, this was an interstellar example of on-brand marketing, with the brand further solidifying its adrenaline-fueled identity. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The ALS Ice Bucket Challenge That water was a balmy 92 degrees. I felt nothing in your face. <laughs> Almost everybody will have either participated or have known someone who took part in the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge back in 2014. The social media sensation saw people from all over the world having buckets of ice poured over them as a means to promote the awareness of the disease amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS. People did it in their backyards, bathrooms, workplaces, and anywhere else they could dump a bucket of water. And each challenge typically saw participants challenging their friends and family to follow suit. And yes, the celebrity participation aspect helped boost the campaign to unbelievable heights as well. I'm gonna challenge three more people. Elon Musk, Ryan Seacrest, and Chris Anderson of TED, Consider yourself challenged. The 2014 social media whirlwind raised over $150 million for ALS research and is one of the most memorable viral social media events ever. People like Sarah Olson, who's now benefiting from the millions raised by that icy challenge. So, which viral marketing stunts do you remember? Did we miss any big ones? Let us know in the comments below. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.